Hello everyone! Today I'm here at this amazing skate park. Finally something new after my local park and let's use this playground for something interesting. Let's go! This park is really interesting, but I want to start with this huge wall ride. I really want to push myself a little bit and I'll try to do bar spin to wall ride to tuck no hander on this really huge wall ride. <laughs> scary. That's an interesting one, but also scary one. <laughs> You're flying to the wall on a huge speed. You need to do bar spin, land on wall right, and then do tuck no hander. But I want to push myself a little bit, so I'll try to do it right now. <laughs> Faster you're going, it's scarier to throw the bar spin to the wall right. But I think I need to do it once again because no hand was a little bit sketchy. Whew. All right, once again. This one, this one was much better. Uh, I really loved it. And let's move to the next one. The cool thing about this skate park, this skate park has pretty normal ramps, like two step ups, two spines, jump box. But the cool thing about this skate park, the location of these ramps, they are not just straight ramps, they are a little bit angular. So there is much more interesting transfers. And today I really want to use this interesting positions of the ramps and right now let's try to use this spine as a curved wall right i want to pump it really hard and without pedaling i want to try to do 360 double down whip on this huge step up so without pedaling i'll pump the spine this curved wall right and then i'll try to do pretty big trick on the step up i hope it will work and let's try it Uh, all right, should be easy. So let's do 360 double down with. Wow, all right, so it was possible. <laughs> Bar spin wall right to tuck no hander was a harder one for me. Probably because I'm doing this trick more often. If we double down with, wow. But that's what I'm telling you about. Because the ramps are not just going straight, uh, they are a little bit angular, you can use them a little bit differently. And you can use this spine like a curved wall right. That's why these not straightforward skate parks are much more interesting ones. So you can use them a little bit different. I have an idea for the next interesting usage of this skate park. I want to do spine ride. So I'll ride both tires on the spine and from the spine, I want to try to do tail whip to this landing. So I'll start from that step up. I'll go to the spine and I'll try to do bunny hop tail whip to this landing. Not sure that this one is possible, but let's try it. So tell me from here to there. <laughs> Not sure that this one is possible. That's a hard one. That's a hard one for sure. To land on the spine at this speed. Whew, <laughs> scary. <laughs> Guys, if it looks easy, it doesn't mean that it is easy. 
That's a really hard one. Maybe not. <laughs> and right now I'll try to jump from this spine to step up kicker. I want to do it from both sides, from here and from here. It's pretty far, but should be interesting. Let's try it. All right, I think I need to find something a bit more challenging for me. <laughs> the next one, which is really scary for me again, but this one is really scary. <laughs> I want to do backflip or barrel roll from spine landing to step up landing. It's standing like this, so it's not just a straight jump. I need to do backflip and understand where is the landing and the kicker. The landing of the spine, not that steep. So I'm a little bit scared, but let's start trying. Because I don't know where I'm going to land. So scary, especially to try it first time. <laughs> Good. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. Right now, I'll change my tube and and I'll try it again. I jumped with the barrel roll and I was just a little bit lost in the position of my body. That's why I'm a little bit over-rotated this one. All right, I'll change the tube and I'll come back. The tube is just shredded, as you can see. <laughs> I'll change it for the same one. This is right now tube, it weighs 50 grams. I ordered it from AliExpress, yeah, pretty cheap one. Also riding on carbon rims. Usually this combo works really good with KHE tire, but right now I landed too bad. I'm using this lightweight everything because it's much easier to do tail whips with these uh, light wheels. And that's why after I'll do this barrel transfer, I'll try to do triple tail whip at the same jump. But right now, let's pump the tire. So to do this barrel, I think I need a little bit less spin. So I'll just do more backflip. It should work. And then to use my lightweight wheel, I'll do triple whip at the same transfer. Let's go. All right, that was easy. Just a little bit scary. All right, triple tail whip right now. One plus three. But I really like this one and really want to do it once again. And then I'll start doing triple tail whip. Triple is the same as a double tail whip, so just need to add one more whip. Should be easy. As I said, just one more tail whip. If I have enough air time, it's pretty easy. That's a cool little transfer. So right now let's use some other part for something interesting in this skate park. Yeah, I love it. I love this video, <laughs> trying something new for myself. It's interesting for me, hope it's interesting for you guys. That's a cool way to film a YouTube video. You know, it's good for you, good for me. <laughs> All right, let's find something else interesting here. Right now I also want to use this spine landing as a kicker, but I'll jump to the left and I want to do 360 tail whip to tuck my hander right here. <laughs> I 
out. That's why you always need to stay focused. Uh, I already was thinking about next trick. All right, let me try it again. But yeah, need to stay focused always. I crashed pretty soft because I have this pretty interesting skill. If I'm falling down from some trick and I am on my back wheel, I'm trying to put all the impact into my rear wheel. So I'm landing, I'm really pushing to the back wheel. So all the energy is going to the back wheel and then I'm just sliding <laughs> on my butt. And I have uh, protection shorts, so it also helps. So yeah, I have this interesting skill to fell even easier and smoother. Right now let's do it again, 360 tail to tuck no hander and then just a flare in the quarter pipe. Not working. So here we have this wooden part that I just wrote. And here is the razy part. <laughs> I really like this wooden part. It's really interesting. Ramps are pretty much perfect, but Razy, it looks good, but feels not that good because landings are too mellow and I don't know, feels like you're landing on the street. In the quarter pipe, same at the jump box. Landing is super mellow. Really, it feels like you're landing just on the, on the flat. Ouch. <laughs> when it's hot, plastic is growing. It's getting a little bit bigger and we always have these big bumps. Ah. All right, now it's a little bit better. No, <laughs> same. Right now, let me do a trick that I really want to do at the contest. Uh, flare, double tail whip. That's why we're using Razy. <laughs> All right, let me do it once again. Yes, <laughs> happy with that trick. And I think it is time to finish the video. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, support the channel, subscribe, put the like, and see you next time. He's 17 and he said, uh, film a trick, please. Insane. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>